I'm Ross Nadwick with Van On Company with your closing comments for June 27th. Uh, corn finished the day down, up about three quarters of a cent in the front month and down a little bit in the deferreds. Uh, just a mixed trade there, feeling a lot of pressure from the wheat market. Wheat actually ended up down about 10 cents in spring wheat and Chicago and Kansas City down six to eight respectively. Um, those markets feeling a little more pressure here with harvest picking up, uh, more deliveries at the elevator, just some, some selling as it comes off the field. But again, that's pressuring the corn market at this point. Um, corn does continue to get some strong export sales numbers. And again, this morning confirmation of that. Um, the soybean market, that, uh, that one actually um, finished up today about 30 cents in the front month and a very strong day. Uh, encouraging, it wasn't the way it ended up on Friday. That was the market that struggled the most to get off the bottom. Um, but now the strong close today opens up some targets again. We're up against resistance in that market, for instance. Uh, we'll be watching these, uh, watching this closely over the next couple of weeks. Again, um, some of this uh, is being affected by the outside market still. The dollar was up another full point today, and that's uh, adding some pressure and taking away some enthusiasm, enthusiasm on the export market side of things and what we might expect going down the road. Um, not only in the grains, but also in the livestock. Uh, turning over to livestock here, we did have a, a stronger close for cattle, uh, finishing up about a buck on the day buck 15, buck 43. Feeder cattle actually closed almost a dollar higher. Uh, both those markets uh, basically finding their support from the stronger cash sales on Friday, up about two bucks from the um, earlier in the week. So 118 live was reported. Uh, dress trade matched that number. Um, the hog market today actually finished a little bit lower. So cattle hog spring still a big seasonal move here. Uh, that hogs trending lower with the dollar, of course, that's where more of the pressure is seen right now. A lot of the hype that was built into the futures market earlier on in the hogs uh, came off of expectations of stronger exports. So that's been taken out. Uh, moving ahead here, the, I guess we had the cattle on feed report. Again, a reminder or recovery of, recap of that. Um, it's much, very much as expected for the cattle and the hog side of things for the quarterly hog report up about 1% versus expectations. Uh, that added a little bit of pressure as well. Um, so we'll, again, we'll go into next week and or into the, the rest of the week here and, and try and figure out uh, how p traders are going to be wanting to take positions in front of this stocks report for the grains. That'll be the next big news event. I'll leave you with a disclaimer. Past performance is not indicative of futures results. Futures and options trading involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers.